Hi, I'm Bill from Guitar Center. Today I'd like to show you the Paul Reed Smith Angelus A20E from the SE series. This is an auditorium cutaway guitar. The body's cut away up here at the top so you can have maximum access to the high notes while you play. The top is solid spruce, and the back and sides are very nice African mahogany, or also known as sapelli. This is a mahogany neck. It's three pieces, the headstock, the neck itself, and what's called the heel. This preserves precious mahogany to make more guitars out of less wood. Another perk is the three-piece neck is stronger than a one-piece neck. The fingerboard and bridge material are Indian rosewood. The rings around the sound hole are called the rosette. This rosette is made of multi-ply rings inlaid into the top of the guitar. These are the famous Paul Reed Smith bird inlays. These are SE Series standard chrome die-cast tuners. The die-cast housing contains the gears inside. They're packed with a permanent lubricant and then sealed. They'll never wear out. And while we're looking at the neck, check out the nut. That's this part up here and the saddle down here at the end of the strings. Those are made of bone. Bone's the best material for those parts for maximum sound transfer to the body. The saddle is also what's known as a compensated saddle. That means where the strings cross over the top of it, each one is carved at a little bit different angle. That helps the guitar play in tune better. This is an acoustic electric guitar, so of course it has electronics. Well, you notice the body doesn't have a big control panel. The trend today is away from those big panels to simple controls that are easily accessible. And this is no exception. Inside the sound hole are two little finger knobs for volume and tone. That's all you need. This high gloss finish guitar comes in a Paul Reed Smith hard shell case. This is the PRS Angelus A20E from the SE series. You can play one at a guitar center near you or check it out online at guitarcenter.com.